bitch on, we got bulletproof glass now. Bitch, I turned off, I feel like I want a Grammy. I'm speaking Guapanese, I know he can't understand. Hey, yo, it's your boy Tommy coming at you with another Bullet Echo video, and today. We're gonna be hopping into some games with a max level doc. You guys have been asking to see this hero. This is our final hero in the entire max level series and essentially that we were doing to show off all the skills, all the abilities and the gears that I have equipped for each hero. Now that we're finally going to be finished with all of this, we will start doing highlights, montages, funny moments, or whatever else you guys want to see. So if you guys have ideas for videos that you want to see here on the channel, please make sure to do me a huge favor and leave that in the comment section down below. But as for today's video, we're going to be covering the doc, going over his stats, his abilities, and the gears I have equipped with him before hopping to two games of solos and two games of 3v3 Battle Royale. Now, the doc runs the assault rifle he's got a power level of 1590 1308 health and 1046 armor that's actually quite a bit for an ar hero he does 134 damage per shot doc has like a huge clip decent range but he's got a huge clip for his weapon so you've got a lot of ammo to work with and the nice thing is his main ability here is the grenade launcher if you guys remember we played as the other heroes in the game that have the grenade launcher but the difference between using those heroes and using the doc i think we were using smog before is that smog has a shorter range than doc um so he can actually use his ar at longer distances in addition to being able to fire off that grenade launcher for those longer ranges keeping your opponents at bay and then piecing them up with your consistent decent dps assault rifle but on ability activation the hero launches a rocket that explodes upon collision dealing damage within a range of 276 especially good in the team game modes the 3v3s the 5v5s where all the huge fights going down you can do a lot of damage to multiple enemies here we've got the team healing on ability activation the hero is slowed down by 50 percent for seven seconds it restores 67 health per second to allies within a range of 400 over seven seconds and you get minus 50 percent to incoming damage for allies within a range of 400 for seven seconds as well that incoming damage makes him a very very good team player towards the end of the game and a very good individual player as well when you're playing the solos you want to make sure to always have one team healing left off at the end of the game so you can pop it off get that damage reduction spam out your your rocket to start the fight and then finish them off with your consistent ar here we've got battle scarred his passive bonuses you get plus 20 percent to the hero's maximum health plus 20 percent to the primary weapon damage plus 20 percent to the hero's maximum armor and on the hero taking damage you get minus 60 percent to primary weapon fire spread for two seconds and plus 60 to primary weapon firing range for two seconds allowing you to continue to create the gap if you need to and mow them down from longer distances and on top of that he actually does have a pretty bad fire uh spread so whenever you do get take damage that minus 60 percent is huge for the doc and then we finish off here with his combat readiness on hero taking damage you get plus 35 percent to the primary weapon damage for allies within a range of 400 for three seconds and you get minus 80 percent to reloading speed for allies within a range of 400 for three seconds as well so taking these fights man the doc loves to be in the fight because when he's in, whenever he's in it he gets all these boosts all these passives and these increases to his weapon which make him very very strong um, for the skins, we've got we've got them all. We've got them all for the doc. You've got the regular doc skin, the Mew Mew doc, and we've got the uh, doc Jack as well. So I think we're gonna run this because I mean I know Halloween passed already, but I like this skin a lot. Um, and for the gear, we're actually running the full on Bionic Y set, starting off with the Bionic Node Eye, which gives us minus seventeen percent to primary weapon bullet spread without aiming, and plus twelve percent to the hero's movement speed with no aiming penalty. We've got the Bio Node Heart, which gives us plus 10 to the primary weapon piercing power and plus 6 to primary weapon armor penetration. We've got the Bio Node Arm, giving us minus 17% to the hero's primary weapon reloading time and minus 25% to the pickup time for upgrades. And we finish off with the Bio Node Leg, giving us that minus 17% to primary weapon aiming time and minus 17% to primary weapon fire spread while moving. So now we've gone through all of his stats and his abilities, we're going to hop into two games of solos and two games of the Battle Royale so you guys can see what a max level doc can do all right into the first game we're actually going to start off with ammo and we'll get explosive rounds so we're going to be dealing out a lot of damage here which is nice if we can get ourselves though some uh this is satoshi some armor that'd be nice we'll reload just because why not
There we go, and add it on that side of the map. I need armor badly, there we go. And we've got all of our rockets stacked up here as well, so that's good. Getting this four grip is actually really solid. For Mr. Wide Weapon Spread Levi looking boy. Lots of people still left though. Three people. This is going to come down to a four man super end game. Uh, we've got our rockets on standby. We've got the heal for the damage reduction. Three people now. Two. I'm going to pop one. Okay, admittedly, I popped it early. I popped it early. I might have sold. Alright. Thought he was so much closer, but I think we'll have enough time to get another one off here. Maybe. It's gonna be close. Oh my goodness. So that was that was on me. I almost threw that, actually, because I thought that the final guy was a lot closer. I heard the gunshots, but I missed time. The direction. Maybe he was closer, but he decided to back off and take it to the storm. But even without all that... Doc is no slouch, right? He still has all those passives, so when I get into a fight, I can still take someone down head-to-head. -head. We still had, like, 300, 400 health left. So if I played that extremely perfectly and time the heal with it, he's not even coming close to killing me there. Into the 3v3s, you got a Firefly and an Angel. We're going to be able to use our rockets way more, and we're just going to spam them wherever we see these team fights going down. I'm going to double stack armor or ammo here. No armor quite yet. I'll get another ability charge for the rockets. And there we go. We get some armor now. So we've got a good off-spawn game. Time for us to go to work. Whoa, he's fast. Alright, a little double takedown. Forget how fast my boy is sometimes. Boy, Hurricane, mad quick. Angel's going off on her own. Hopefully she wins the first fight. That's all we needed right there. Woo! -hoo! Little sideways step snipe. Taking down the Firefly right there. Honestly, I mean, that was a, that was a solid game. Uh, we were able to protect the Firefly and get the double kill early on and we were able to use the rocket there, right? When the Firefly was backing up, he's got a longer range weapon. He's trying to create the gap. The rocket equalizes the playing field and takes him out quite easily. All right, into the next game. We're going to start off with a whole bunch of ammo, but we need armor ASAP because we're getting into our first fight here. He got armor, dude. Oh, no. This is not... This is not how we wanted this game to start off at all. I think we jump scared him though because he decided not to push up, which is surprising. I gotta kill him before he can get that invis off for sure. Okay. Get a sight. And now, I think we just sort of vibe and work our way in with Storm. That's what the last five people on this map are going to do. And then we can get our damage reduction off. That Dragoon's got me sussed out right now. Grenade, okay. So we got probably a Freddy or a Sparkle. We're fighting. I think it might have been a Levi, low key. That gun was shooting kind of slow. I'm trying to get all the way behind there. I think I can. Take me head on, then. Take me head on, then, bro. I knew for sure, bro. 
It was actually, I thought it was, I thought it was a Levi, but it actually turned out to be a Stalker. I saw him pop the in, because I was like, you're gonna come out eventually. You got a little bit of time to come out. I'm gonna pop my team heal. You're gonna pop your team heal. Honestly, as far as DPS goes, I thought he probably would out DPS me, but he didn't have any armor, so we weren't able to figure that or find out, you know, able to pick up the win. All right, we've got the Freddy and the Sparkle here for the 3v3. Um, I don't know, bro. I, th I think that's a pretty good lineup. Sparkle's tanky. I'm like semi tanky, and then Freddy's just quick with the damage. So I do need to find me some ammo, though. Because we are still sitting here with our pistol. Thank you. I'm going to play with Sparkle. Because Freddy can finesse his way out of areas through those small little cracks. He's sort of just playing this dude's dead body. Okay, he threw a grenade. He's probably going to throw another one. Yeah, you got to be careful with fireflies. Nice grenade. He backed off fully. She's jumping, but Freddy's gonna chase her down for sure. Nice. I knew he was coming. I knew he was gonna pop out the envy, so I wanted to get the damage reduction off if I could. I don't think I get res on him. I got it. Nice. So it's actually a 3v. So I just clutched up so hard. Holy. Okay. Um, She's got the team heal going down. I'm going to get our damage reduction going down as well in a little bit. She can grab that armor. I don't know if she sees it. Nice little double, double barrel going down. So there, we were able to use the rockets on that dead team where they were sort of like playing our, our teammates dead body kept them at bay enough the stalker thought he could push up and catch us lacking popped a nice little heal damage reduction went down really well there and then we we're able to scoop up our teammates double back to back heal and win that game so that's gonna be it for today's doc video i hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay overall doc is solid but i do believe that he deserves a buff of some sort exactly what buff not really too sure but either way, though, very solid, straightforward, and kind of fun here to play with the grenade launcher. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope you go on and enjoy the rest of your day.